Edwards. When Anthony Edwards told Charles Barkley to bring his ass, <laughs> he probably was not talking to Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic because they brought it and then some 30 plus for Kyrie Irving, 15 for Luka Doncic in the fourth quarter, including the sealer, a step back bucket to clinch it, a 105 to 108 win for the Mavericks. And speaking of brought his ass, Nick brought his to <laughs> Minneapolis for game one uh, from, from Locked On Mavericks, our pal Nick. Uh, we saw Kyrie Irving in the first and Luka Doncic to close it out. This is a formula that seems like it could have some staying power. The ass was brought and the ass was taught, Peter. <laughs> Luka Doncic destroys drop coverage. It's just what he does. When Luka is, you know, there's a pick and roll and Rudy Gobert comes up to the screen, but then he drops back. Luka just destroys that every single time. The Wolves are going to have to make some kind of adjustment with that because over and over again, they either got good plays, good passes out of it, or good shots from Luka Doncic. And that really, to me, was one of the, my main keys. If Luka can beat the Jaden McDaniels matchup, if he can dominate that in a way that he really couldn't against Lou Dort because of – injury or because Lou Dort is just a real stocky thick guy that would that was a re real problem for the Mavericks and now if he can beat Jaden McDaniels in this matchup in this way then it causes all the other dominoes to fall over Kyrie starts getting going in the first half he's open in a bunch of different ways Luca hits him ahead for you know hit ahead passes in transition all kinds of stuff and the Mavs dominated in the paint because of it because Luca had to uh, either throw up blobs or he had to you know make a shot himself it was just the, the Luca show in the second half for sure Thanks for pulling us out of that, because otherwise we were going to get canceled. Um, the uh, the the defensive performance from Luca also cannot be understated. Had a couple of key defensive plays, the the clinching defensive rebound also broke up that that huge lob pass late oh. in the game, and we have seen that at various points, especially when he's been healthy. We know he's been dealing with some lower body injuries in this postseason, but he's ramped up that defense, and it's are we are we over? Uh, psychologizing to be like, hey, he's heard all this Anthony Edwards stuff and is going, hey, remember me? I was the MVP <laughs> finalist, not that guy. I don't know if we're necessarily an outlet that likes to call out other outlets on our air necessarily, Peter, but uh, the ringer did come out with a tw best best players under 25 mm. list today. Yeah, and uh, Luka Doncic not only was not number one, he was not two, he was not three. He was fourth on that list behind Anthony Edwards, Shea Gilkes yeah. Alexander, and Victor Wembanyama. One of those I think could be okay in a couple years, but I think that Luca right now, after making his fifth first team All NBA in six years in the NBA, was I mean, of course you're gonna he's gonna take it that way. And I didn't think his effort actually coming out of the gate, especially in the first half, was all that great. There were times the Wolves were beating him to loose balls, beating him to you know even just passes that turned into steals and turnovers in the other end. But he really picked it up in the second, like you said. That, that breakup of the lob was such a big, massive play for Luka because yeah. it was coming down to it. That would have tied the game at that point. Luka stops the lob right in front of Rudy Gobert, no foul there. And then Luka gets the one-on-one -on -one bucket against Jaden McDaniels on the other end where he doesn't take a screen, nothing, just beats him one-on-one, -on -one, hits the shot. The Mavs go up four at that point and just milk it the whole rest of the way. And a Luka defensive play to a Luka offensive play, it's kind of the formula the Mavs have had this whole postseason that's really worked for them. Yeah, let Luca cook is something that the Mavericks have, have relied on since Luca came into the league. Uh, Anthony Edwards, the aforementioned Anthony Edwards, uh, 19 points in this one shot, six of 16, five of 12 from deep. How much of that is just Anthony Edwards and how much of that was what Dallas did to him, do you think? Yeah, I think there's a, a couple things with that. I think Anthony Edwards hasn't been in this moment yet in the Western Conference Finals. I think Luka and Kyrie have. I thought you saw that experience right there. But then you look at what happened in the first half. Jaden McDaniels getting these wide open threes, and he knocked a bunch of them down to give him credit. Kyle Anderson was also getting a bunch of wide open shots because of uh, can I, I can keep saying ass, right? His broke ass looking shot. <laughs> he, just kept th he just kept throwing it up. And so he was getting some buckets too because the Mavs were leaving him wide open. And so – they were leaving wide open because they were trying to stop Cat. They were trying to stop Anthony Edwards. And the Mavs are funneling him towards these mid-range shots. He's got to take these really tough mid-range contested shots or these deeper threes in order for, to get himself on the board. And this Timberwolves team hasn't played a defense like the Mavs yet. I think that's something that's going to be an adjustment. They're more physical than Denver has been. They're more physical definitely than the Phoenix Suns. And uh, I think that's going to be an adjustment for him. And I, I think he'll adjust, but it's a really, really big moment when everybody's talking about you in such a big way. Stay up to date on the Dallas Mavericks all year by subscribing to Locked On Sports Today and Locked On Mavericks on your favorite podcast app and on YouTube.